Once we learn our seventh chords, our major sevens, our dominant sevens, and our minor sevens, and we're thoroughly comfortable with playing them, we want to play them, and we want to throw them into our music as much as we possibly can. But where? Well, if you're playing from charts, very oftentimes the chart will call for the major seven or the dominant seven by name. That's totally common. But just as common is a chart with no sevens at all, just majors and minors, lots of space for interpretation. And it's cases like that which are red flags to the guitarist to insert his own action on a chart that's otherwise kind of boring and dull. A lot of my students say to me, how do I make the song sound more interesting? Well, adding the seventh chords to the chart, even if the chart doesn't call for them, is a great idea. Uh, here's how it breaks down. We have three kinds of seventh chords, majors, dominants, minors. Now, dominant is major. So really we have two major kinds of seventh chords and one minor kind of seventh chords. So when we look at the key and the Roman numerals in the key, we know that one, four, and five are the major chords in every key. That's where we would experiment with the major seven. Uh, you can take the one, the four, and the five chords of any song and experiment with making them major sevens. What you'll find is that on the one chord, the major seven is divine. And on the four chord, the major seven is super divine. And on the fifth chord, the major seven is horrible, terrible, and you hardly ever hear it. Where you wanna put your major sevens is on the one chord and the four chord. Then we have the dominant sevens. The dominant sevens sound fabulous on the one chord. They sound fabulous on the four chord. And on the fifth chord, they sound fabulous. So the dominant sevens sound great on every major chord. You better be ready for an edgier sound, a more aggressive sound. But if that's what you're looking for, dominant sevens are for you. Now, where do you suppose we would put the minor seven if we look at the Roman numerals in the key, we see that the two, the three, and the six chords are our minor chords. Well, every one of those is a perfect opportunity to play a minor seven instead of just a straight minor. The two minor becomes the two minor seven. The three minor becomes the three minor seven. The six minor, the six minor seven. 